This episode of TechZulu is brought to you by BuzzVoice. BuzzVoice lets you listen to the web's top news and blogs everywhere. Hello everyone, Amanda Kulong with TechZulu.com. We are here at the demo conference and I am with Scott Annan of Network Hippo. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So you are done presenting. Yeah, Feel good? Over. Feels great, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was a good conference though. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have something here that I personally am very excited about. You are making it easier for me to aggregate all of my contacts and be smarter about the way I follow up with them, right? Absolutely, yeah. What Network Hippo does is we take all of your contacts and the people you're connected to on mm -hmm. email, on social networking sites, and then we consolidate it all, take all of the information, and then make sure that the information is always up to date. Uh, and then we give you reminders of when you should be in touch with people that are important in your, in your, in your address book. So where did the idea originally come from for you? Uh, well, it originally actually came from a small business CRM. So you're trying to manage mm -hmm. these customer you know, relationship databases, and they're all really boring and they're really crappy. And a lot of people don't use them because they kind of, they're a little bit too robust, some of them. Exactly, yeah. No, and, uh, and they're really hard to use. You're filling a lot of forms and right. other things. And so, you know, what we saw is that because of social networking, the number of contacts that we have is growing exponentially, and it's becoming more and more difficult to manage those relationships. Do you have stats about any of that? Uh, I've got, yeah, I've got lots of stuff. I mean, obviously, you know, hundreds of millions of people on the different social networks. Right. The average person on Facebook has 120 friends, mm -hmm. but people who are uh, younger, kind of in the uh, 18 to 32 range, uh, have closer to 400 different friends that they're connected to. Mm. And so what we're seeing with this trend is, is some things are really going to change. Email has always been the traditional uh, kind of base contact method online. Mm -hmm. Now that's changing to Twitter and Facebook. So it's not just, you know, I'm going to email somebody, but, you know, you've got a I'll lot of relationships. You. Exactly. That you're gonna at reply me. <laughs> you're gonna direct message, or you know, that you're gonna to meet on Facebook. In fact, Facebook we get chat. Uh, yeah, we get a lot of uh, a lot of contacts, uh, a lot of people who uh, apply for jobs with us, okay. who uh, don't even have email address or don't include them. It's just right. on Twitter and on Facebook. I think that's gonna be the future. So, mm -hmm. you know, how do we manage this growing list of contacts and using a Rolodex type system where you've got you know A to Z, you know, and you click on the letter and you scroll down. Well, you know, once you're past 800, 1,000 <laughs> contacts, that just doesn't really work. So. That was really the inspiration for Network Hippo. And why the name Network Hippo? Well, uh, you know, we love animals, we love the forest, but actually the hippo uh, originally stood for high potential. So oh. it was in order to find high potential people in your oh. network. Well, one thing that you said that really resonated with me on stage is um, you're talking about we, we gather all of these different contacts, but is it really a matter of the amount of people or the direct relationships that we're, you know, really building with each one of them? Absolutely. Expand on that a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, we've got a lot of followers and people that we follow on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, same thing on Facebook. We, we become friends with a lot of different people, but we kind of get lost in, in just the everyday communication, yeah. right? So we're spending a lot of time just kind of talking, and sometimes we don't spend spend as much time with people as we should and whether that's you know friends uh, sometimes family and definitely from a business standpoint mm -hmm. you know we're just kind of going shallow instead of deep and so what Network Hippo does is it looks at who are the people that you contact the most looks at some of their profiles mm -hmm. looks at your industry and then we actually find people who you have strong relationships with that you should be in contact with regularly but we also do is look for people that you know who have similar profiles that maybe mm -hmm. you haven't been in contact with or you don't oh. know as well so you can really discover you know here's some people I'm connected to Mm -hmm. And yet, I haven't had the chance to really, you know, connect mm. with them. So I like that. And what's some additional feedback, perhaps, that your beta testers had given you that maybe surprised you in terms of their usage of the product? Oh, it's been all over the board. Yeah. I mean, the uh, we really target towards startups, young entrepreneurs, okay. um, and that's really you know people who've got these ridiculous you know, large contact lists. They wear multiple hats, mm -hmm. and so it really enables them to you know kind of merge and, and decouple their personal contacts and their business contacts. That's huge. Yeah. That that alone is huge. Yeah, yeah. So that's you know that was definitely a big piece. But then we started getting calls from enterprise, so really large companies who were calling us and saying there just isn't anything good out there that enables us to segment you know mm -hmm. large numbers of people based on what we're seeing in the industry. Yeah. So, uh, you so know, does I, that mean you're going to be back here at Demo again next year with an enterprise play? No, no, I think <laughs> that, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun at Network Hippo and we love working with startups and small businesses. And, uh, you know, we, we, we also, uh, you know, want enterprise to come and find us, but that's not really where our heart is at. So, you know, uh, but yeah, a lot of really uh, interesting ways that people are using the product. Great. And the beta is open now, so where, where can people sign up? Uh, at NetworkHippo.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Very Great, great talking to you here, and you guys can't see, but you know, he's got his sandals on here, which is excellent here in California. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you check out Network Hippo, and I am Amanda Kulong, reporting for TechZulu.com. Thank you.